You're good. I feel like it. This is Zach from Cyclocross Magazine. I'm here with Kerry Warner. He's her third place finisher in the men's elite race here at Nationals. Brutal fight out there. Was it? Uh, did it live up to your expectations? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, it was weird because it, it definitely kept changing throughout the race. It, it uh, actually did the opposite of what I thought it was going to do. Um, I thought it was going to get more muddy and, and wet, but it actually got way more icy, which is interesting because by the end of the race, maybe muds weren't the best option. But um, yeah, I mean, the course was rad. Uh, definitely a, a little bit out there in terms of what we would normally used to seeing, but uh, that's New England, and I mean, you gotta you gotta live up to what it's gonna give you. So I'm excited. It was fun. Well, and I was a little surprised too. There was a big group after the second lap. How did you manage to distinguish yourself from such a large group of riders? Um, well, on the after the second pit in the like dicey woodsy single track section, I could tell that I had a little bit of an edge over some guys maybe, and so uh, my my thought was just to stay towards the front, and I knew it was gonna separate. I knew Hyde crashed on the high line right on the first lap, and. Uh, Went back a few spots, but I knew he was going to come back, and I knew he was going to attack and crush it. So I just, I just wanted to be up there for that separation. So, and I'm pretty. I think that you had second for a while, and then Driscoll came around. Did you panic at all, or did you manage to, to keep your heads about ahead about you? No, I mean I, I was teammates with Jamie last year, and I'm very aware of his style of racing. So it was kind of a bittersweet moment uh, because you know I was still up there for the second place battle, but I knew that. Um, with Jamie up there at the end of the race, usually if he's up at the end of the race towards the front, it's going to be he's going to go full gas. See, he usually gets better at the end of the race, so I, I knew I had I knew I had my work cut out for me. And I uh, apologize if I don't know this outside of my head, but first nationals podium or yeah, last year was my best at fifth, and then this year. So how does it feel? I oh, mean, man. well, this was uh, one of my season goals, um, so. I mean, this was the last season goal I had to achieve, so I mean, I'm, I'm just ecstatic. So will you be, do you think you'll be going to Worlds? Yeah, I'm actually heading out on Thursday to go to the Italy World Cup. Oh, cool. So that'll be kind of gravy then if this was your goal. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do the Italy World Cup, Hoogar Hyde, Worlds. Uh, the weekend after Worlds, there's some C1s, and then finish the season with CX Tokyo. So, so any chance we can talk you into throwing an extra goal on top of that? Maybe go home and after this settles in, rethink it? <laughs> <laughs> rethink what? Well, your goal is you got more races. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, this was just kind of like what I had for sure planned. So, I mean, going into this next five weekends of racing in a row, it's going to be... I'm gonna I'm gonna look for some new some new things to achieve. Well, congratulations, Savor it, third place, Kerry Warner. Great ride out here in these treacherous conditions. Congratulations.